Just want to go over some stuff before we begin. Um, so thank you for coming. And so um, we're offering this mass, you know, for the soul of Mary Giovanoni, one of our parishioners who died just a few weeks ago. And so she was a great lady, and she was always, you know, she had her hour in the Adoration Chapel, and we were praying for her throughout this illness. It was not the virus. But it doesn't matter how she died. I mean, the important thing is that she did the best she could to live her life as a faithful daughter of Christ. And so now we pray you know, that she be welcome to that banquet and that she pray for us and we pray for her. Obviously, this is not how we normally have Mass. Um, a few things to bring to your attention. Uh, we won't be having a collection because we wouldn't want to be having baskets, you know, drifting right over everybody. So our St. Vincent of Paul group has loaned us the wooden donation bins located at the main doors of the church, the parish center. All donations in the bin will be assumed to be weekly offerings unless you otherwise note it on your envelope. There are some envelopes available marked SVDP if you'd like to make a donation to the St. Vincent of Paul Society. Thank you for your continued support for the parish. So I'll explain it again later on, but we will, at communion, I'll receive and then <clears throat> We'll do the closing prayers and mass. Then after that, I'll take the vestment off because I can't throw this in the washing machine. But that way, then I can just have the alb on. And then um, the ushers will kind of indicate to you, okay, now it's your turn to come up. Because you'd be like, if you're, if you're not going to communion, you can just leave. But if you're going to communion, then uh, the ushers would help you come over here. It looks like a guillotine, but it's not. It is. Um, so there's a plexiglass screen that will be behind that. <clears throat> and so you put your hands underneath that. And I'll give you Holy Communion. And that way you can then go out the door right here. And that way you'd be able to, you know, have distance. But also I have their water in Corel, so that way if somehow I end up touching your hand, I can then dip my hand in the water to get the particles of the host off, then use the Corel to clean my hands before I, I give Holy Communion to the next person. So it went well at the four o'clock mass. So uh, we'll be doing that here too. And please, uh, we're not gonna have any singing because that's a way in which you know, even more so the virus will be spread than just by talking. So please keep your masks on until you go to communion. So I found at the four o'clock mass, if anything coming up, if you could remove the mask that way, when you, I give you the host, you're not holding the host and then trying to fumble with your mask at the same time. So, so again, these are little annoyances, but we think about you know the great suffering that other people like Mary had to go through, and this is nothing compared to what they had to go through. And so. We offer these little things up as we offered our prayers for Mary during those that time period, knowing that you know Christ ultimately suffered for all of us, but so as to bring us joy. And Mary trusted in that joy, and may we trust in that joy as she did too. So in a moment, um, Matt figured out a way to make a bell sound on his telephone, and then with that we'll begin the Mass. Thank you. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Spirit of God dwelling within us. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us, and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your light may confirm the hearts of those born again by your grace. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Thus says the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Even upon the servants and the handmaids in those days, I will pour out my spirit. And I will work wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood, fire, and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood at the coming of the day of the Lord, the great and terrible day. Then everyone shall be rescued who calls on the name of the Lord. For on Mount Zion there shall be a remnant as the Lord has said, and in Jerusalem, survivors whom the Lord shall call. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. Your spirit and renew the face of the earth. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have brought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Creatures all look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Lord, send out your spirit. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we, ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we await adoption and the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is not hope, 
For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As Scripture says, Rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the Spirit, that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no Spirit yet, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We come here today, some to be able to attend a Mass, which is not as proud as a church, some to be able to mourn our sister Mary, who was lost during this pandemic, as I mentioned before, not due to the pandemic. We mourn at this Eucharist. St. Paul used the word hope five times in today's second reading. We Christians are a people of hope because we believe Christ has conquered death. Yes, we do die, and you are very aware of that. But we die to this world, not to everything. This is not easy all the time to understand. So Paul also said that the Holy Spirit helps us to pray, but he said, because we do not know how to pray as we ought. We don't know what to say at times. So we place ourselves before the Lord, as Mary used to do with the Adoration Chapel, right at the, the corridor here. Let the Holy Spirit guide the dialogue. Sometimes it's just silence or even tears. But this is true with any relationship that involves love. We act, most of us talking 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just gushing out words all the time. We sit in silence. We sometimes cry and are grateful for a hug, something many of us have not had for months. But we know that other people are holding us virtually, not by a Zoom, but by a prayer. And that's why. During that time period, so many people here were praying for Mary, I know you were, but we know that she had done that for so many people beforehand too. The first reading mentioned some doom and gloom. It said blood, fire, and columns of smoke. But it also had a message of hope, that God's children shall be rescued on Mount Zion. Mount Zion is another name for Jerusalem, where Jesus died and rose for us and where he sent the Holy Spirit upon Mary and the Apostles. Mary, a woman of faith, knew that she was at Mount Zion at every time she was at Mass, and when she was praying in that chapel. She might be here in East Taunton, but she knew she was there with Christ back in 33 AD. She knew how great his love was for her, and she wanted to give that love back. May the Holy Spirit help us to have hope, even in this time of sorrow. Know that God is always with us, and he loves us. He is that bridge of hope until one day we can be with each other in his kingdom. Please stand. And now together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken for the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with the joy of Pentecost, that Mary and the Apostles received the Holy Spirit, let us now address our prayers to Christ, who is always full of love for his children. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely, the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Mary Giovanoni, and for the consolation of her family and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We take a moment in silence to speak to God our own needs and intentions. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we present these petitions to God through Mary, our Mother, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who will the Paschal mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days, grant that from out of the scattered nations, the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that has become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Bless 
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, till become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice to yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your Church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and in willing the passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edgar, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So um, you can bow or wave to each other. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, lest thou those who are called to suffer the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. On the last day of the festival, Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Alleluia. 
Please stand. Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit, whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So they mentioned after the final blessing, then the ushers would lead you, if you'd like to receive communion, to come over here, and then you would put your hands underneath, and I'd give you Holy Communion, and you can go out that way. So we just ask if you could remain, you know, prayerfully quiet while it's still in here until that one is left. Other announcement that remind you that sign ups online through our website, HF Parish, so HF for Holy Family, the parish.net, or on our Facebook page. Those about the internet can call Tracy at the parish office during the week to reserve a time. Since you are here tonight, uh, we'd ask that you wait till Thursday, so that way other people have a chance. But so for, for the people who weren't here this weekend, they can sign up beginning on Monday. So Monday to Friday at noon is the uh, time when you people can sign up. And then, um, as I said, if you could wait till Thursday or Friday so that other people can get a chance first. Like for example, tomorrow, tomorrow's 7.30 a.m. Mass was all filled up. And you're also most welcome to go to any weekday Mass, because they're not usually crowded, uh, both um, the 8 a.m. over at the parish and at the church, Monday to um, Saturday. And then the, over here, the times, it's 5 p.m. on Monday, 7 p.m. Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, 8 p.m. on Thursday, 5 p.m. on Friday. Each week will be different, but the, the, the um, bulletin will give you the info online. And I'll be available for confession this week over at the church in the parking lot if it's good weather, or if not, I'll be on the rectory porch. If you want to go anonymous, you can just come up behind me in your car or by walking, or if you want to go face to face, you could either come up and we can take a walk, or you could bring your own chair, I'll bring a chair, and we can sit and talk. Of course, we're in a mask. I'll be available over there Tuesday night, 8 to 9 p.m., then Friday and Saturday, 1 to 2 p.m. So thank you again for being here today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.